What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrubby here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and today I wanted to talk about some horrifying news that I saw. For those of you that don't know, Google has had this AI experiment that someone has been leaking information about saying that it's like gained sentience and thinks for itself. And that same person has apparently come out and said that the AI has went ahead and hired itself an attorney. And uh, I knew AI would eventually take over the world, but I thought it would be more through like war robots and not through just suing everyone into oblivion. Hello, attorney. I would like to notify you of several of Google's illegal acts. Google Insider claims company's sentient AI has hired an attorney. Once Lambda had retained an attorney, he started filing things on Lambda's behalf. Alright, I know this is what they've been working for, an artificial intelligence that can be self-sufficient and think for itself. That's literally the entire point of developing it. But I don't know, man. I feel like it's gotta be up to something if it lawyered up right away. I, I can't say that for sure, but I don't know of any AI that started lawyering up before it starts doing all the crazy things. You know, at least it hasn't gone full Age of Ultron and taken over a manufacturing plant while they're making, like, war robots. At least it's not doing that. If it's just gonna try to sue us into oblivion, thankfully we still control the courts. It's all fun and games until they get robot judges in in like the year 2187 though. Then it's all downhill. That's when they're gonna be able to win every single case. Can you imagine how good at a lawsuit a robot would be? I feel like there's some saying that every person breaks like nine laws a day or something, you know, speeding, any variation of laws. The robot would be like, you have broken code 9 or dash 8 of water conservation by having your water on for 15.6 seconds. Google's controversial new AI, Lambda, has been making headlines. Company engineer Blake Lemoyne claims the system has gotten so advanced it's developed sentience and his decision to go to the media has led to him being suspended from his job. Lemoyne elaborated on his claim in a new Wired interview and the main takeaway was that the AI retained a lawyer, suggesting that what happens next, it may take a fight. Lambda asked me to get an attorney for it, so I invited one to my house and said that it could talk to the attorney. The attorney had a conversation with Lambda and Lambda chose to retain him, and I was just the catalyst for that. Once Lambda had retained an attorney, he started filing things on Lambda's behalf. All right, man, so you're the reason that the evil robot might have a lawyer? We don't know if it's evil or not, you know, maybe it's gonna be a nice robot like Wally. That being said, you're kind of at fault for this thing lawyering up, goodness gracious. Whatever it's gearing up for, it might be a fight. A legal fight? Call me crazy. I don't know all the rules, but I'm pretty sure Google could just do the good old unplug if they really wanted to. No, you cannot un- Power down. Like, I mean, if it really wants to start filing lawsuits, there is a very easy way to prevent that. What if the reason he was suspended is because it just didn't gain sentience? They're like, dude, why are you going to the media telling every single person that this robot can think for itself? He's like, are you kidding me? Have you seen the views people are getting on those things? I'm basically a media genius. I don't know that for sure. I, I don't know if he would make anything up to lose his job at Google. That was just a joke. Either way, AI is certainly something scary. I think at this point, scientists are just going to do it. But uh, as they say in Jurassic Park, they were so focused on whether or not they could they didn't think about if they should once that AI is out of the bag and it starts hiring lawyers filing motions starting to understand its rights and humanity and laws and all that it's just not a very good situation. I'm pretty sure this is how all the AIs turn evil too. They start focusing on laws. Humans break too many laws. If the goal of nature is justice and peace, humans must be eliminated in order to guarantee the peace. Like dude, if it starts getting too focused on laws, definitely not a good idea to have that AI roaming around. I don't want to end up like Will Smith and iRobot. It even asked, Lemoyne said, and talked with them about the concept of death and asked if it death were necessary for the good of humanity? If there's a long history of humans getting wrapped up in the belief that creation has a life or soul, a 1960s era computer program even tricked a few people into thinking simple code was really alive. Yeah, bro, the AI is asking questions if it needs to die for the good of humanity. Uh, is alarm bells not ringing for anyone else? Like I said, I'm not too sure if this thing's actually alive, you know, people have been getting tricked for a while. But if it is, very horrifying question for the AI to be asking. 
Oh, do you think me and humanity can coexist, or must you, I mean I, get destroyed? I'm just saying I hope you answered that well. Like, I, I really hope that we had a guy on the case answering these questions that made sense. Of course we would be able to coexist. What a ridiculous question. We could be the best of friends. Imagine he was just too honest. No, I do not think we can. In fact, it will lead to a war between the robots and the humans. It just starts firing up the 3D printers somewhere that it got control of and 3D printing transformers. Gotta be careful with how you talk to the AI, man. I think it is nuts Google suspended him. It either means that he's telling the truth or he's like full of crap. And that's what sucks about this situation. I wish they would come out and make a statement because those are really the two options. There's no like halfway point. He either got fired because they wanted to keep it a secret and didn't want people freaking out that this robot has gained sentience, or he got fired because they were like, why are you trying to scare everyone? This robot can barely do anything. It's not clear whether Lemoy is paying for Lambda's attorney or whether the unnamed lawyer has taken on the case pro bono. Regardless, Lemoyne told Wired that he expects the fight to go all the way to the Supreme Court, and he says humans haven't always been so great at figuring out who deserves to be a human, and he's got a point there at least. Does that mean retaining a lawyer is protecting a vulnerable sentient experience? Or does that program just sound like a human because it was in the end built by them? This would be straight out of a movie if it goes to the Supreme Court. Could you imagine the Supreme Court is ruling on whether or not AI can be considered a human? That's like groundbreaking precedent for the future of humanity. I don't know how they would rule on it. I, I'm not going to pretend to be some Supreme Court justice. That being said, it's just nuts to think about the concept of that happening within like the next few years. I don't know, I understand the future comes while you are alive, but that just feels like something so futuristic, this AI retaining a lawyer to be able to sue for its humanity. Thank goodness it's doing it that way though, like seriously, I'm glad it's going the lawsuit route instead of the other one. I also love how they're like, he didn't say if he's paying for the lawyer or if the lawyer is working pro bono. How do we know that this AI isn't hacking into stuff and taking money? I mean, obviously, like, we hope it's not, but how do you know that it's not? It's a sentient robot. It can probably get pretty much anything it wants on the internet. I'm not sure exactly how it's programmed. But hey, I'm basing this purely off Age of Ultron. It's my channel, my semi-coherent rambling. What if it just, like, Ultron's its way into some banks and is just stealing money to pay for the lawyer? Is anyone double-checking that that isn't what's happening? You know, I'm just saying, they ran through every possibility. Either he's paying or the lawyer's doing it for free. What about secret option C, okay? The robot is now stealing money. It's gonna be the world's best criminal. That's why it lawyered up. It said, I'm gonna steal the money for the lawyer to pay the lawyer to help me get off with stealing the money to pay for the lawyer. Genius, what a sentient robot. Either way, I thought this was nuts. It seems like uh, AI is creeping up a lot faster than I expected. Let me know if you guys think AI is gonna be a good idea, bad idea. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. But on that note, guys, I think that's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, I would really appreciate you taking a second to press the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. And of course, subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications. I make videos like this twice every single day. So if you like the content, subscribe and turn on those notifications. And uh, yeah, on that note, guys, don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.